Let me show you how to create a clone site without affecting your main site. This is great for testing purposes, website development, plugin development, and so many other cases where you don't want to break your main live site. This is called staging and we can do it straight from our hosting or hosting plan. So let me show you how right now. You have no idea how easy it is to create one of these staging sites here on Hostinger H panel. The idea is to create these clone sites to work with them and don't have the worry of breaking your main site that's actually live. So this is my Hostinger H panel. And before I show you this, let me show you their shared hosting plans because there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to show you how to apply. So jump over to the link in the description, go to hosting, go to web hosting, and there's several shared hosting plans available here. Now, my personal favorite is Cloud Startup because it has dedicated IP. But if you're looking for a more affordable solution, you got business and the premium plans available. So in this case, I'm going to select the business plan to show you how much it's going to drop with the coupon I'm going to give you. Now, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? In this case, I recommend 48 months. It's going to give you the lowest price. You're going to lock in the lowest renewal price and you're going to be good to go for 48 months. Now, the price right now is this one right here. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. That's for 48 months. So that's pretty affordable, right? Now, back to the actual staging. So the site that I want to clone is this one right here. So I don't want to mess with the live site and I want to do a bunch of testing. I want to mess with files. I want to mess with the database, install plugins, etc., updates. And I can do so with the staging of that website. So go to websites, select the website that you want to create the staging site. It's this one right here. And I'm going to go to dashboard. And in dashboard, I'm going to go to WordPress and I'm going to go to staging. And in staging, I am going to be able to view all the list of the staging sites that I've created. So in this case, I already launched this one. I've created it really quickly and I made it live so I can use it. So in this case, name your subdomain of the staging site that you want to create. So I can say, I'll say test, test and create. So that's going to be created in a subdomain with everything that I have right now, with the updates that I have missing, with the WordPress plugins that I have, the themes, etc., the settings all are going to be created with this subdomain. Now, I'm going to show you this one because it's already ready. So we're going to go to manage staging and there's several options here available. So you got your force HTTPS, maintain as mode, light speed. If you want to enable that object cache, if you want to enable it, flash cache, WordPress updates and my staging admin panel. That means that I can jump over there to the admin section without having to log in my credentials. Information like database, PHP version, the WordPress version. I can update the WordPress version from here. I can view the staging security for this particular staging site that I've created. And again, I can update. I can enable automatic WordPress core theme plugins updates, the update log, the installed themes. I can go ahead and delete themes right here. I can work with them, change it. Also plugins, I can disable plugins or delete them. This is a really good idea because if you break the site because of a plugin, you can just come back here and disable it and the staging site is going to be working like it would. Right. So let's jump over to the back end of this site to show you how we're going to be able to mess with it without affecting the main side. OK, here we go. We're on the staging side. You can see the tester.ltd.cell shop uh, link, which is with the, the subdomain. And we have, for example, this update pending that was not updated on the main site. I can go ahead and test it here and update it. My theme that I have installed, the plugins, for example, they're right here. I can go ahead and remove, add whatever I need to do without affecting the main site. I can also go to appearance, theme file editor, and I can edit these files right here. So, for example, if I want to edit the header.php, well, I'm not worried about breaking the main site. So I can go ahead and run my test here. And if everything's working fine, I can do the same thing over there on the main site. So the idea is to create these tester sites so you don't break the main one. So it's a great option to create your staging sites right here, where it's super easy to do so. So run tests with these instead of doing it on the main side. And that's how easy it is to create your staging sites here on Hostinger H panel. Don't forget to use my coupon code if you plan to grab a hosting plan. And that's a wrap.